have an opportunity tonight to, to bounce back. Um, you know, start understanding the way that we need to play uh, to be better. And you know, we, we looked some video today to see uh, areas we can uh, improve upon. Uh, and it's an opportunity to, to kind of work at that and, and to get better. So, uh, you know, you can't get stuck looking in the past at, at um, you know, things we can't change. It's about, you know, looking forward and understanding the things that we need to be a little bit better at and uh, start working towards each day. Coach was talking about having six odd man rushes against Nashville, creating some scoring chances, some opportunities. Yeah. Is that part of building your team game? Yeah, we, we had, you know, last game was... Uh, one of those ones that could have went either way. You know, we, we had a lot of opportunities that uh, we didn't capitalize on, and um, you know, and they did. So uh, there's definitely some areas that we we did some good things, and we were better at last game. But some other ones we need to continue to improve upon. So you know, we need to tighten it up a bit. Uh, you know, we looked at that today, and and uh, you know, again, opportunity to to put that in play. What were your thoughts on that uh, incident with Monty on the bench in Utah, and maybe how it? Seems to take a life on social media. People were talking about it quite a bit. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Um, kind of scare me. <laughs> no, the call got reversed. I remember the, uh, you, you had a turnover at the blue line. Yeah. It went down and turned to a goal. Call got reversed, so it was no goal. But the Nesson cameras caught on the bench. Monty yelling at you and kind of gave you a nudge in the shoulder. And That's the thing? A, people were making a big deal out of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, people are very uh, very sensitive these days. and You know, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, it's unfortunate how coaches are scrutinized uh, over things like that. Uh, there's a lack of accountability um, nowadays because, you know, people can't handle the heat. And you make a mistake like that, you deserve to hear about it. Uh, you know, I'm glad that he said something about it. If he didn't, we would have a much bigger issue. So, um, you know, that the fact that that's something that we're talking about is, you know, it's disappointing. But that's the way things are today. And you think it, it makes sense, it makes sense that he's giving it to you as the captain too, to show the other guys that. that yeah, I mean, listen, there's, there's an accountability that needs to be held in in this room, and and um, nobody's resolved from that. You know, I, I made a really bad mistake, and um, you know, a bad time in the game, and and that's uh, you know something that's not acceptable, and you know, I shouldn't have done to begin with. But the fact that uh, you know I expected to hear about it not only from him but a bunch of guys on the on the bench too so um you know i, I should be held accountable in that situation and i'm glad that he did that turnover a product of uh, kind of pressing to, to create some no it was the opposite i was actually feeling really good that game um you know and i, I was feeling good up to that point and and uh was trying to do a little bit too much sometimes you get a little overconfident um you know, when I tried to make a play that, that I shouldn't have because I was, you know, feeling good. So, um, you know, that, that just shows that, you know, to be successful in this game, there's times where you just got to keep it simple and play the right way and, and uh, get away from that. Right, Coach talked about the penalties after the Nashville game and just the difference between, quote, unquote, good penalties and bad penalties. What can you guys do to play aggressive without the fear of a penalty and just avoid the I mean, the biggest thing is you got to move your feet. You know, that, that's kind of where a lot of, uh, our penalties are coming from right now. We're reaching instead of just skating. Um, you know, when, when you skate and, and you, you know, work a little extra harder to get in front of guys or, um, you know, get body position, then you usually take a lot of those thick, thick pe penalties away or tripping calls, um, holding calls, stuff like that. So it's really just about bearing down, working a little bit harder, um, moving our feet more to, to get better body position. You and Pasta being back on a line together, you feel like you kind of go back and just pick up right where you left off? Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, we usually could have had three or four last game. And, and uh, um, you know, we play together for a long time, communicate well. and um, So, yeah, I, I, I feel like we can. Uh, we, we have the ability to do that. Uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little longer than you hope. But uh, well, hopefully we can connect.